Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Weekly Wear where I am testing out a product that I wasn't even aware of but one of you suggested I tested it out and so I went and checked it out and oh my gosh. It looks lovely. This is the Patrick Ta Major Skin Creme Foundation and Finishing Powder Duo. So it's a foundation and powder, both in one compact. It is $52. It has an expensive price tag on it for sure. If I counted correctly, there are 24 different shades. I'll have to look at swatches. Based on the tiles here, it looks like an okay shade range. Not great but okay. Like I said it is two formulas in one compact. It's gonna be natural and have medium coverage to it, good for pores, and best for oily combo and normal skin. So this is exciting for an oily girl like me. Products usually are not targeted for oily skin, <laughs> at least not foundations. The cream formula is going to be breathable, melt into the skin, and move with it. It also includes an air spun setting powder that blurs the appearance of pores to create a flawless looking skin like finish. And to use, super simple, apply the cream foundation to clean primed skin, building to desired coverage. Then you can put the setting powder on oil prone areas and for best results, of course, they're trying to shill a brush of theirs. But like I said, I am really excited. The models anyways that they have with this foundation and powder on, I just think it looks dewy and fresh and lovely. I have only tried a couple of Patrick Ta products, I believe and they have been lip products so I'm excited to venture into more just to try out the brand I've always thought it just looks so luxurious and nice but with that comes the price tag hence why I haven't really tried it out much the packaging reminds me of like a Tom Ford kind of a thing like the eyeshadow quads it's very reflective but it is so pretty. It's also, I'm sure, gonna collect all the fingerprints, so it will only look so pretty for so long, but here we have it. Ah! I got the shade Light One, so hopefully that'll work for me. There is a nice big mirror in here. Oh, lovely, because this was one thing I was worried about, having the cream and the powder. I didn't want them to mix. This has a little flap here to cover up the cream product, so that's great. The powder feels nice and silky, and this just feels so luxe to me. So I am very excited to rub this on my skin. Now they did specifically say primed skin. However, y'all know me in the weekly wears. On day one, we don't use a primer. We wanna see the product on its own. Sorry to the Patrick Ta team, I am going against orders here. But uh, cream formula, I'm not really sure. I'm assuming, I mean, maybe you can just like dip your brush in here as well. But I do have clean fingers. I just washed and moisturized my face. This feels very nice and melty on the skin. And let's see how it does. I mean, yeah, that's that's what I figured with fingers. It's just not gonna get enough product to really, really apply. Maybe, but I don't know. I'm gonna try and dip my brush in. See if that, yeah, that works much better. If you ask me. It looks like it's blending in just fine, and I think I got a good shade match, so this is nice. Always a little nerve-wracking, especially with a new brand. This is supposed to be a neutral shade. It looks like it might be leaning a little yellow, but overall, not bad. For a product that is geared towards oily skin, it does have a little bit of an oily feel to it. You know, just that melty cream kind of a formula that you need it to be in order to get it out of the compact. Oop, too much? Just enough? <laughs> it's hard to tell. I'm just kind of dipping in and hoping I get the right amount with the brush, but... I think that looks nice. Definitely gave the medium coverage that it promises. I don't really know about dipping a sponge into here, but I'm I'm a curious cat. I gotta know. I gotta know. Let's test it. I just want, I have needs, okay? I wanna know. Ooh, not bad. That shut me up real quick. 
That looks lovely. Blended really nice and easy. I think it even gave a fuller coverage. Um, I think I like the sponge application better. What do you guys think? I don't know. I think that worked really, really well. So, uh, I'm gonna do it again. I mean, I'm just doing that. And that, that's it. I'm not like <laughs> really smushing it in there. But let's see, it did say that this was buildable. So I'm gonna see if I can build it up a little bit. All right, so I definitely was able to build it up. I think, I don't know, as much as I think it looks lovely from like this distance, without my contacts in, when I get up close, it does look a little, I don't wanna say heavy, but maybe it's looking a little heavy. Still dewy and nice, but definitely like I'm wearing foundation. So I'm gonna stop myself here, at least with the cream. I mean, can you guys see what I see? Just that it looks a little bit heavy. I figure you should get some close-ups before I go in with the powder, but there it is overall, right? Right now. Now let's see for the powder. I mean, I know they said to just concentrate it in areas where you get oily, but I put powder on my whole face because <laughs> my whole face gets oily for the most part. My cheeks are probably the least oily, but let's see. Alright, so I do feel like that powder definitely took away some of the heaviness. It looks like it just kind of gave it that soft focus look to it, took away some of the dewiness for sure. I still think it looks like I'm wearing foundation, but overall, I mean, it gave it really nice coverage and it feels pretty lightweight for now. It feels like I'm wearing foundation, but a super duper lightweight one. And yeah, the fingerprints are already a plenty on here. But yeah, overall, here it is, the foundation and the powder. I'm excited to test it out, see how it does throughout the day on my skin, and I'm excited to share those results with you guys at the end of the night. Ready? Ding! Hello everyone, good evening. It is the evening, it's not the end of the night, but I actually do really need to take my makeup off and hop into the shower really quickly. It was volunteer night tonight and I'm dealing with some ringworm kitties and so I really, I, I should not, I don't wanna give it to my cats. So I just wanted to show you my face real quick here. It has felt decent all night, a little bit on the side of, you know, if I were to get sweaty or really oily, I feel like it gets, it starts to feel a little tangible. I didn't get super oily or sweaty tonight, so I can't say for sure. Like I said, I just haven't had this on long enough and you know, sweat pills have helped and everything. But uh, yeah, either way, I feel like it has felt good. I feel like with my oils that it feels like it's wiping off like anytime I go to touch my face I feel like I'm seeing quite a bit of foundation on my fingers and overall it just looks heavy on my skin here tonight especially like on my forehead and stuff where it really stuck around I mean it did stick around it looks like it has cracked around my mouth it has wiped off of my nose quite a bit so yeah not the greatest looking here I am really hoping that with concealer and a primer I can use less of the foundation and maybe that will help it to look and feel much lighter on my skin. Time will tell and I will share those results with you all in just a second here. Ready? Ding! Hello everyone, good evening. End of the night here on day three of testing and before I spoil anything, I am going to show and tell you how things have been going the past two days of testing. So on day two of wear, I figured this seems like the kind of foundation that might need a little bit more of a mattifying primer. Not that the skin ink primer is mattifying, but it's definitely more that than it is dewy. So I used the skin ink primer and then went ahead and used my Milk Flex Concealer after putting the foundation on. That should be noted. Uh, I'm sure you can see me doing that in the footage, but I applied the foundation with a brush and just blended it out with a sponge this time around and it looked much better with a light brush layer, albeit a bit cakey and it made the pores on my nose look emphasized. However, everywhere else it looked just fine, although maybe a little heavy. I don't know that heavy is the right word, but just like 
foundation it looked like foundation yeah do you get what I'm saying but overall I thought it looked fine it just has that feeling where it never it's not that it doesn't feel like it sets it just feels like it's sitting on top of the skin like it has that creamy feeling to it always and I don't like that even with the powder put on top it still has that feeling the powder doesn't really seem to do much of anything if you ask me I just hate that this foundation has the feeling where I'm scared to touch my face. That's the kind of feeling that it has because it feels like it's gonna wipe right off and unfortunately with even the most feather light of touches it does wipe right off and I was noticing that throughout the day so even though it felt light on my skin it still felt tangible and I don't like that personally. The lightness? Yes. The tangible wipe offness? Not so much. Correction. Not at all. At the end of the night, I looked super shiny and once again, or more so continuously, same as before, it just looked like it was sitting on top of my skin. It cracked a bit around my mouth and it just wiped right off like I was noticing throughout the day. It is not good, my friends, at least not if you ask me. And so on day three here, I was like, okay, let's go in with the big boys, the big guns, and try and use an actual mattifying primer, and also try and use a different powder. So I went ahead and I used my Glam Glow mattifying primer, a good dose of it, and then also went ahead and used my Milk Future Fluid Concealer, and then did the foundation on top of it once again with a brush and then blending out the sponge and as I said I used my normal setting powder instead of the one in the compact I definitely noticed that it looked more matte on my skin the foundation overall and I just thought it looked better it looked more secure and while it didn't feel completely secure it just felt and looked better if you ask me. So was it the powder? Was it the primer? I mean, this is why we are supposed to do independent variables in science and makeup experiments, but I only had one day left of testing, so I'm sorry. This is this was the best I could do, but throughout the day here, it has felt better, and I noticed less transfer whenever I would touch my face. You know, if I just go like this, I don't notice foundation on my fingers, which on days prior, I was noticing from just little tiny touches like that so at least that's a good improvement but it still feels creamy and tangible on my face I don't like it it looks fairly decent it looks a little shiny at the end of the night here but nothing atrocious it cracked around my mouth again in my smile lines and whatnot but it looks much better the fade is much more graceful tonight I would say it looks the best today here on day three and has felt the best but overall I just personally will never be using this product again as far as I can tell half of it is a throwaway the half of it being the powder and the foundation just takes way too much energy to work with and even when you do work with it it's still not great <laughs> so do you guys want pros and cons after hearing that? I'm still gonna give them to you. One, you know, the foundation actually does apply and blend very nice and easily whether you use a brush or a sponge. I did find the brush to work better, but you could use either. I think it looks lightweight on the skin, like it looks like a light foundation, and it does feel lightweight in a sense, but... <laughs> How much twitching do you need to see that it's like hurting me to say these things because they both come with butts after them and both of those butts are in the cons which I will get to but one con the powder isn't good so like I said only half of this product is good <laughs> for me anyways it cracks or it can crack like around the mouth which I'm not a fan of. Plus the foundation just feels like it's sitting on top of the skin. You can tell that it's there and that's very uncomfy to me, be it right at the start of application or throughout the day with my oils. It doesn't get any better <laughs> with wear, that's for sure, but uh, it was never good from the start, so meh. And then also the biggest thing for me is that this stuff just wipes right off. I mean, like I said, I have been able to work with it so that it wipes off less today, but overall, 
I just, I can't recommend this product. It's too expensive and there's just way better out on the market, either for the same price tag or less. So I personally can't recommend this stuff. I still am very grateful that one of you suggested I tried it. I wanted to try it after that too. Unfortunately, these are the results I got. Hopefully I can save you some money if you agree with what you are seeing and what I am saying here on video for you. Please let me know if you have tested out this foundation and powder and if it worked the same or differently for you. You can also let me know any future recommendations or just want to see products in those comments down below. You can also also just let me know how you're doing, all that good stuff. Let me know if the video was helpful and or enjoyable by giving it a thumbs up down below. Oh my god, that was amazing. Uh, also, if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe, tippity tap that notification bell down below, and become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I'd love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!